Hello, thank you for taking the time to listen to my tips for engaging your employer while fundraising virtually for the 2020 Walk to Save Animals. I am Christina Letourneau. I became part of the Arizona Animal Welfare League's community in 2017 when I was selected as a member of the Shelter's Young Professionals Council, the League. I served as the Council's Events Chair in 2019, producing a successful event called Retail, a Market for Mutts, which raised more than $6,000 for the shelter. I am a volunteer and enjoy helping at shelter events. I am an animal lover and welfare advocate, and I have a bossy beagle named Cosmo. I work for a commercial real estate investment trust, and we are fortunate to have many committees in our organization that are aimed to impact our community, both inside and outside of our organization. I became involved with my company's community outreach committee to bring awareness to the shelter. I encourage you to become involved with these types of committees within your organization. You may not even know that they exist, but benefit from them already. In fact, I assure you that more companies are seeking to create or expand these types of committees in the wake of COVID to encourage employee engagement, seek to raise morale, and maintain a company culture while working in a remote virtual environment. So reach out to your HR department, talk to your supervisors, and become involved. Since becoming involved in our Community Outreach Committee, I have been able to keep the annual Walk to Save Animals on our calendar of events year after year. You too can leverage this event in your workplace. I encourage you to create a walk team for your department or company. Ask your employer to sponsor your registrations. You can work with the shelter events staff to create a promo code for registrations or see if you can submit your registration fees for reimbursement through your employer. Work with your internal communication teams and use things like company email announcements or intranet posts to encourage registrations. This is my team page for the event this year. As you can see, we have a great turnout year after year. Our team is made of animal lovers. Some even have alumni pets from AWL. Since we cannot all be at the work to get walk together this year, I plan to meet with some coworkers who live close to me and walk socially distanced, wearing a mask together at a park or in a neighborhood. I suggest you can create fundraising challenges to get your teammates to raise more money. For example, give away a gift card to the team member who raises the most money in one week. When we are in the office, I have a pennies for pets donation jar in our cafe and break rooms to encourage additional donations of spare change. I also encourage involvement by inviting coworkers to post their pet pictures in our cafe, which is always a big hit. Perhaps there is a way to do this virtually this year via your internet. Another way to raise money for AWL that doesn't need to stop at the walk is through corporate matching gift programs. This is when companies financially match donations that their employees make to nonprofit organizations. So if you create a team page and get donations from coworkers, encourage them to submit their donations to be matched. That way your fundraising is doubled by the company. I am so grateful that our company has contributed over $2,000 in matching gifts to AWL since 2017. Thank you so much for listening to my tips. I hope you have found some inspiration for increasing your fundraising for the 2020 Walk to Save Animals.